Hello on Vita's a Fruity here back with another deck review. Today we're looking at the Good Pals Chancers Playing Cards, which is by Good Pals, and they define Chancers as a person who takes chances. And this deck has a casino theme, and with the casinos, of course, is always about taking chances. It's interesting to note that the red deck here has a matte tuck case. However, the cards are on a standard stock. Well, the black deck, which has a, has a standard tuck case, has a premium stock for the cards. Kind of interesting that they did that. Kind of making each one basically the same value, but different ways. It's very unique. And they are USB-C printed, so this one you can see Good Pals, Chances, Point Cards. Chances, it says, Good Pals, Point Card Company. And the bottom... Paris in 2022. It's from the card uk. Check out their website. Premium packaging, it says. And there's the back. And I'll show you this one side by side. You can see it is just a standard tuck case. But it's basically the same thing on the tuck case, just that it's black. It still says premium packaging on it. Interesting enough. On the flaps, some skulls. And that's what you'll see for the court cards. There's skeletal. I think the same. I feel like they missed an opportunity. They should have had this red card in the this deck and a black bordered card on the red deck, but it is what it is. Minor. Minor thing. Very minor. So let's look at the black deck first. Couple of of Good Pals Hotel and Casino. And here's your back design. It's pretty cool. Lots of, uh, you got slot machines and skulls and uh, diamonds and horseshoes and crowns. Just all your little slot machine and casino type symbols. Poker chips and there's like a roulette table or blackjack table, whatever it is. Very interesting. You did get a double backer in this one. And in the cards, the Joker says, it's not the cards you dealt, but how you play the hand. By Randy Poss. There's a quote, I guess, from him. Pretty cool quote. I do like that. And the other Joker is the same. The Ace of Spades says, get pounds, chances playing cards, and they're killing each other over the card game. <laughs> Apparently, because they're dead. Uh, the number cards all feature these customized pips with a border to them. And I'll show you the aces on nice big pips. And I'll show you the court cards in a moment, if you don't mind. Yes, I'm leaving them to, to chance here. I'm <laughs> going to show you lastly. So let's show you the court cards. They are skeletal, classic looking, if you will. But they're skeletons. They're, they're dead. <laughs> The other deck has the exact same faces, I'll just point that out, in terms of court cards and artwork. But there's one minor difference that I'll show you. And again, this one, the black one here, just a standard tuck case, but the cards, put about USB-C on a premium stock, a casino stock. With another Christian Venus. Very nice. The red one, oh! has all the same cards that I almost just lost. Except, of course, it's red. Exactly the same, though. And the other difference is that it has a three of diamonds duplicate as opposed to a double backer. The rest is exactly the same. Oh, crap. As I lose the Ace of Spades, because, of course, what would one of my reviews be if I wasn't losing cards? But everything else is exactly the same. And this one, again, the red one, has the matte top case. But the cards are just a standard bicycle stock, apparently. I actually don't really feel much of a difference in terms of stock or finish, so I don't know what's going on there, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, they're nice cards. Nice classic looking. Kind of like them. I'll give them an A or an A+, plus because it's got nice artwork. Although... Skulls have been kind of done to death, pun intended. 
definitely there's a a nicer feel to the black one in terms of fatting and whatnot. So I can see that. But this one's not bad. Very nice. Like I said, I'll give them I'll give them an A or an A plus. I do like it. That is that. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.